Hey everyone, welcome to today's devotion. It's such a pleasure to be with you. I'm Adam, part of the New to Faith team in Manchester, along with my wife, Jay Soon. I really hope you're doing well, whatever time of the day you are joining us. It's so good to do devotions together, isn't it? It's one of the new habits that we should be doing in 2024. Now, talking of 2024, the series we've been looking at recently is called Refresh, something for the new year. Now, let's start with the overarching scripture for this Refresh series. It comes from Luke chapter 5. It's verses 36 to 39. He, that is Jesus, told them this parable. No one tears a piece out of a new garment to patch an old one. Otherwise, they will have torn the new garment and the patch from the new will not match the old. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, new wine must be poured into new wineskins. And no one, after drinking old wine, wants the new, for they say the old is better. Amen. So like I mentioned, we started 2024 with this idea of refresh, which, you know, can be a bit cliched. Refresh, renew, revival, it's a new year, new year, new me, new you. We know the old cliches and we know that cliches can sometimes be a little bit annoying. Now, the reason why they're annoying is because actually they're very true and we kind of know it. We know we said that we were going to go to the gym or we were going to stop biting our fingernails. We were going to learn to drive. We were going to save money, stop drinking, eat healthily. And when we feel bad for not doing it, then we don't like to be reminded. Don't miss the point in the cliche, though. There is a reason for it. This fancy French word, cliche. The new year represents an opportunity. And this opportunity in this regard, is to restart, refocus, rethink, reset, and refresh. Now, during this refresh series, we've been looking at something called the five Fs. That's faith, family, finance, fitness, and friends. Yes, fitness, not health because it sounds better to say five Fs, not four Fs and one H. In today's devotion, let's remind ourselves what was said about refreshing your fitness. Pastor Hannah recently spoke about this. And if you'd like to find all of our sermon content, please just go to the Audacious Church website and you will find all the videos there. It's also on youtube.com forward slash Audacious Church. Now, God wants to do something in and through you this year. And God doesn't use us despite our bodies. He designed our bodies to carry his presence. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 to 20, NIV says, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honour God with your bodies and don't underestimate looking after yourself. Amen. Amen. Yeah, everybody said, Amen. God's presence isn't housed in a box. It's not in a building. It's not in the shed in the garden. It's not hidden in a book. The Holy Spirit the Spirit of God resides, lives within you, me, everybody watching this. And your holistic health has a key role to play in the move of God this year. Very, very important to know this. Now, we can learn from health specialists around the globe that there are four pillars of health. And it's key to remember these. Eat well move well, maybe a bit more than this, relax well, and sleep well, just not during this devotion. Save that for later. Looking after yourself physically as a Christian 
it's not a vain pursuit. Make it the right thing. Get the focus on God. It's taking responsibility for God's temple. Do it for the right reasons. This is God's temple. Look after it. We read in 1 Kings about a man of God called Elijah. Now, you may refer to Elijah as the man of power for the hour. He was a prophet of God. He was a prophet of God that challenged and saw our God bring defeat to the prophets of Baal, a false god. He had a direct ear to God. He was very brave. He was anointed. He was a faith-filled man. Yet, we can read in 1 Kings chapter 19 that Elijah was afraid and he ran for his life. He ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, he left his servant there while he himself went on a day's journey into the wilderness. And he came to a broom brush, a broom bush even sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I've had enough, Lord. Well, amen. Who's been there? I've had enough, Lord. Now, what do you need in that situation? What did Elijah need in that situation? In order to carry out the call he'd been given, to keep on going, with this call? What do you need to keep on going with the call that God has given you in 2024? What do you need to keep taking responsibility for carrying that new wine that God has for you and had for Elijah? Did Elijah need more of the Holy Spirit? Perhaps he needed more anointing. Oh, could it have been more worship time. Yes. Maybe he missed Sunday night worship. Yeah. All possibilities. Well, in this instance, not any of those according to the word of God. Because in verses 5b and 6, it specifically says, All at once, an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around and there, by his head, was some bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. Just think of the smell of freshly baked bread and clear, crystal clear, fresh, cool water that quenches your thirst. <laughs> it's making me feel thirsty right now. He ate and drank and then lay down again, dot, 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 to rest. That third aspect, eat, drink, rest. God gave him good food, he gave him wonderful water, and he gave him delightful rest, peace, the peace that the world can't give you, that peace that surpasses all understanding. He was allowed to rest. So don't underestimate looking after yourself, please. If there's something that we want you to walk away with today, rather than having more top tips to stay fit and healthy and great diets for the year, we would love to pray that you have a revelation of your worth. Your worth. We're talking to you as an individual. 1 Corinthians 6.20 NIV. You were bought at a price. Remember this. You were bought at a price. Jesus' blood was shed for you. Therefore, honour God with your bodies. Amen. You should be shouting from the heavens, Amen, I agree with this. Don't forget to have a conviction of your personal value, your holistic health, as we mentioned earlier. It has a key role. It has a key role. God is going to do wonderful things in your lives. But remember, your holistic health has a key role in the move of God this year. Your world needs you to look after you. Don't expect others to do it for you. Look after you. Don't underestimate looking after yourself, please. So eat well, move well, relax well, and sleep well. That's our fitness. That's the F. That's our health. Have a blessed rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.